Hey guys, it's Sarah here with that hashtag show, and I am here in amazing Hollywood at the Grauman's Chinese Theater for the red carpet premiere of Shining Vale for Stars. You and your element. I think you're so fantastic in this. When this came across your desk, your home, your screen, why did you say yes? Um, because I've never played a character that had so many layers to her. She's a mother of a teenager. She is depressed. She was. She's a, a writer that has writer's block. So she's feeling bad about herself. She is having marital problems and trying to start a life over again. And it's just something that to be able to go through what she goes through, even in every single episode, is just something I've never experienced. Are you so excited for this show? Are you a big horror fan? So, definitely a horror fan. I'm excited about the ghosts, the supernatural, whatever that element to me is like, I love it. Live it, I love it. Halloween is my favorite time of year, so anything that's in that realm, I love. Oh my God, did we just become best friends? We did. Amazing. Yeah, we did. I love it. Do you have any projects coming up you want to talk about? Uh, we got a taste of love, amazing rom com, probably on Hallmark or Hulu. Um, one of my, I have a new. The reason I have this huge beard and mustache right now is I will be um, playing young White Earp in the unofficial uh, prequel to Tombstone when Doc Holly and White Earp met each other. Very excited about that. It's called Dodge. So that start, production on that starts in about two months. So. That's why I got this full-on beard mustache going. I love your character of Gaynor. I feel like it's so easy to kind of write her off as like an angsty, basic teenager, and I think she's so much more than that. You're welcome. Um, what was your favorite part about playing her? I think everything you said, I, you know, it's easy to be like a 16-year-old yelling at her parents. We've seen that, but she's, the writing's so good, and she's so, you know, layered and, and complicated, and, um, I think I'm just excited to see kind of the journey she goes on and for people to see that she's not just one thing and she uh, she kind of grows into her skin a little more. You know, we were, we're all in like a bubble, like we're literally in a bubble filming this and we don't even know and like, I just knew like the people that we hired for, for wardrobe, the people we hired for music, the people we hired for set deck, I wanted people to have an obsession and they all did just from the script and they were all obsessed with it. I let people, I let people run with it. I said like, what's your impression this is a giant canvas let's just i've never done horror before what about this character for you did you personally connect with is, are you like him at all or are you complete opposites um i <laughs> okay well as far as the chastity club goes i think maybe that would be the opposite but as far as like honest and earnest and just like no um ulterior motive and agenda he just what you see is what you get and he's a real lovable guy and he he means well how excited were you for like to work with some acting icons like Greg Kinnear and Courtney Cox? And uh, it was amazing working with them. Just seeing like masters of their craft at work, just sort of like vibing and learning off of them and seeing how like how many different ways they can like perform a certain line is just so interesting. 